Many people see Google Glass as the future of technology by putting the power of your smartphone right in front of your eye. The problem though is that you still have to use your voice or touch interfaces in order to control it. However, one company in the heart of Tech City here in London is trying to move one step further by leveraging the power of your mind in order to control this interface. London-based user experience company Displace has taken Google Glass, paired it with an EEG headset which monitors brain activity, and created an app called Mind Reader, which allows you to take pictures and share them on Facebook or Twitter without opening your mouth or pressing a button. Google Glass has just gone on sale in the UK, so why did the company feel as if it was necessary to try and improve it? Chloe Curtin, creative director at this place, explains. One of the issues that we saw was that as you're swiping more and more, and if you're using it quite a lot, um, your elbow starts to get tired and you end up kind of supporting it with your hand like yeah. this. And then, because the screen is kind of over here, if you're really concentrating, you end up kind of doing this really strange action. And so the company decided to investigate just what might be possible combining the power of glass and the power of your mind. I asked Chloe just how it works. So you put the, the EEG machine on your head um, and the readings that we're using at the moment are the basic brain waves. Um, and what we're able to do is take a measure of concentration or relaxation. Uh, and what we do is using Bluetooth is send those as signals to the Google Glass. Um, and then those are put onto a scale basically between concentrating and relaxing. And we take the top end of that scale, so concentrating as a confirm, uh, so take a picture or send to Twitter. And the bottom end of the scale is don't take a picture or discard my picture or don't send to Twitter. But can this technology actually work? Is it possible to take a picture and post it to Twitter just using the power of your brain? I decided to test it for myself. So what we've got here is a NeuroSky MindWave Mobile, which is an EEG reader and measures your, um, the output from your brain. So just stick that on over your head and make sure that this sensor is on the front of your forehead, which takes the reading apparently, and you stick a clip onto your ear uh, to make sure that you're human. Um, and next you put on Google Glass, which is paired with, with this uh, device. It can be a bit tricky. And to get the app to work, all you do is say, OK Glass, Mind Reader. Now what I have to do is to concentrate in order to take a picture. And apparently I have just concentrated enough because it's just taken a picture for me. Um, and now what the app will allow me to do is if I concentrate again, it will allow me to share that picture on Twitter automatically, which has been pre-set up before on this app. Um, hopefully I'll be able to concentrate hard enough in order to get it onto Twitter and there it tells me that the picture has been sent. So without even touching Google Glass, I've been able to send a picture on Twitter within seconds. It, it was absolutely seamless. The Mind Reader app is fairly limited at the moment, but this place is making the code open source in the hope that others would build on its initial work. And with so much more brain power which can be mapped, could we finally be seeing science fiction becoming science fact? I feel Google Glass and, and these kind of experiences hark to a future time where maybe the technology will be much more integrated into our bodies um, and I think there's quite an interesting experience that you're having when you know putting the technology on is um, it's cumbersome and it's and it's awkward and it doesn't quite get the right reading and I think um, maybe a strange answer but once we kind of create biotech maybe maybe then yes <laughs>